Hi everyone. Welcome to another video tutorial on the Python series by Simply Learn. In this video, we are going to learn about Python if statements. In the previous video, we have already learnt about the different Python conditional statements. Here we'll focus on if statement and look at a small project in the end. So let's get started. In programming languages, conditions play a very crucial role. They help us develop programs that can satisfy all the business conditions and perform well. So conditional statements are useful when we have to decide that a certain condition or certain part of a code should run only if the condition is true. So the if statement is an example of conditional statements. The program will first evaluate the test condition and will only execute the code block if the test conditional expression is true. So here you can see the syntax of if statement. First we have the if keyword and inside parenthesis we are going to pass the condition and if this condition evaluates to true then we go inside the body of the if statement which is this part of the syntax. Now while developing a code for a business problem you might have to use multiple conditions. So the elif statement is used when we have to check multiple conditions. So here you can see if the first test expression evaluates to false then you have the elif condition and if the elif condition evaluates to true then we go inside the body of the elif statement which is this part of the statement or the syntax that I'm highlighting. Next. So sometimes you want to evaluate a condition and take one path if it is true but specify an alternative path if it is not. So this is done with an else clause. So the else code block will run if the expression is false. So here you can see if the condition for the elif statement returns false then we have the body of the else statement. And finally after all the if, elif and else statements have been executed. We will execute if there are any other statements which are present outside the if condition. Now moving ahead, we will use if, else and elif statements to write a program that will solve a business problem. So based on the location and total amount of the items, we are going to find the shipping cost. The locations are a few states in the United States. In the if statement project, we will ask the user to enter the amount of the package or the item and we'll also ask the user to input the state name. So for the different states, we'll define the conditions using the total amount of the items and print the shipping cost. So let me take you to my Jupyter notebook where we'll do this project. Okay, so I am on my Jupyter notebook. Let me just rename this notebook. I'll say if statement and project. All right. So let me go ahead and give a comment. I'll say package delivery cost based on the location and total amount. All right. First and foremost, I'll go ahead and create a variable called total. Now this will be a user input. So I'm using the input function and here I'll pass the message as enter the amount for the item. All right. Next, I'll assign another variable called state. This is also going to be a user input. So I'm using the input function and I'll say enter the state name in USA. So these are the two inputs we are asking from the user that is to pass the amount for the item and the state in the USA. All right. Now we'll start with our first if statement, I'll write if state equal to equal to, let's say my first state name is Texas. 
give a colon make sure the syntax you are writing is correct now I am going to use another if statement so this becomes a nested if statement now I will write if total which is my item amount so I am checking if total amount is less than or equal to 150 then I am going to print shipping cost in Texas is let's say thirty dollars all right now I'll pass my next condition using elif statement since I'm using multiple conditions so hence I'm going to use the elif statement this time I'll write if total is greater than 150 and if my total amount is less than or equal to $250 then I'll say print I made a spelling mistake this should be shipping I'll say print shipping cost in Texas is let's say twenty dollars so usually if your amount of the item is high then the shipping cost is low so here you can see if the total amount for the package or the item is less than 150 dollars then your shipping cost is 30 dollars but if it is between 150 dollars and 250 dollars your shipping cost is less which is 20 dollars then I'll say else print shipping cost in Texas is five dollars so what basically this means is if your total is less than or equal to hundred and fifty dollars then the shipping cost would be thirty dollars if your total amount lies between 150 to 250 dollars your shipping cost is 20 dollars and if the cost of the item or the package is more than 250 dollars the cost is 5 dollars so this is for Texas state now moving ahead I'll write elif this time will check the condition for state let's say Florida I'll use a colon here and say if my total is less than or equal to $150 then we'll print shipping cost in Florida is let's say forty five dollars I'll use the elif statement again I'll say elif total if it is more than hundred and fifty dollars and if it is less than or equal to two hundred and fifty dollars I'll write print shipping cost in Florida is let's say $35 next I'll write my else statement I'll say print shipping cost in Florida is let's say $10 if the cost of the item is more than $250. Now one thing to note here is the shipping cost is different for the different states in the US. Alright. Now we'll move on to our next state. Let me give a space here. I'll say LF 
state equal to equal to let's say we'll take Virginia now I'll say if total is less than or equal to hundred and fifty dollars will print shipping cost in Virginia is let's say twenty three dollars all right I'll just scroll down next I'll write my elif statement I'll say elif total is greater than hundred and fifty dollars and total is less than equal to two fifty dollars then will print I just copy this message paste it here and we'll see shipping cost in Virginia is fifteen dollars next we'll write our else statement else print I'll paste the message again I'll say shipping cost in Virginia is five dollars in case the cost for the items is more than two hundred and fifty dollars now moving to our final state I'll write another elif statement I'll say elif state equal to equal to let's say New Jersey if total is less than equal to hundred and fifty dollars then we'll print just paste the message here I'll say shipping cost in New Jersey is let's say forty dollars now I'll say elif total if it is greater than hundred and fifty dollars and if total is less than equal to two hundred and fifty dollars will print just put this within double quotes and I'll say shipping cost in New Jersey is let's say ten dollars I'll say else print my shipping cost is free in case the total amount for the items is more than $250 alright finally we'll have our else statement where I'm going to print invalid state name in case the user enters any other state apart from New Jersey, Virginia, Florida and Texas. Alright, so we have our small project ready. Let me just run through it. So first we are declaring two variables total and state and we are taking this as user input. So the user is going to input the amount for the item or the amount for the package and then the user will input the state. So we have the four states defined here and we are checking the shipping cost for these four states based on the amount for the items. Alright, now let me go ahead and run it. So here you can see we have our first user input, enter the amount for the item. Let's see, I have my amount as $125 and the next input is enter the state name in USA I'll say let's say Florida if I run this it gives me the shipping cost in Florida is $45 let's go to the top and see 
what we have now our total was hundred and twenty five dollars which is less than hundred and fifty dollars and hence it has printed shipping cost in Florida is forty five dollars let's run this again this time I'll see let's see my item cost two hundred and fifty five dollars in the state let's say New Jersey let's run it you see here it gives us the message shipping cost is free now the reason being if you see this part of the code for state New Jersey if the total amount for the items is more than $250 the shipping cost is free now let's try for another state this time we'll see for Virginia let's see my amount is hundred and ninety dollars and my state is Virginia if I run it it gives me the shipping cost in Virginia is fifteen dollars let's check our code so here I have entered my item amount to be hundred and ninety dollars so it lies between hundred and fifty dollars and two hundred and fifty dollars and hence it has printed the message that shipping cost in Virginia is fifteen dollars now let me enter another state name that we have not defined in our code let's say I have my item amount as $290 and the state name I'll give is let's say Colorado if I run it it gives us the message as invalid state which is present in the last part of our code so since we haven't defined any shipping cost for Colorado it has given us the message that the state I am trying to search for is invalid you can check for another state or any other country name anything that is not part of our project let's say I'll enter my amount as hundred dollars and this time I'll enter my state name as let's say Ohio and we'll run it it again gives us invalid state let's try out one last time I have my package amount as $350 and let's say my state is Alaska again it says invalid state name because we haven't defined any condition for Alaska state so this was a very simple project that we did using our if statement we saw how to write nested if and we saw how to use the elif and the else statement all right so that brings us to the end of this video tutorial on if statements in python i hope it was useful and informative if you have any queries then please feel free to put them in the comment section of the video thank you for watching and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.